Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution playthrough. I know, it's a long name. Um, we left off where... We had to head to Bourbon Street during the day because we are on... A journey to take down Mama, and we have to head to Burma Street during the day. So let's go there now. We also have to go. We have to wait for Sony, the Pong King, to announce he's open for business on the radio. But that is gonna be a while. I don't know. Perfect. Let me just make sure I have. I need street Tourist, do some recon on the okay. best route to the station. Bourbon Street is blocked, no go. Two ways around it. Head north on St. Peter, then slip through the back patio of the Maison, or south on St. Peter. Cut through Preservation Hall. Bingo, blockade circumvented. Broadcast booth is up on the third floor. As far as I could tell, tower isn't heading up there. It's sticking to the ground floor. Weird. No clue what that's all about. Before you roll out, make sure you snag a few goodies I left behind the bar downstairs. Keep it sneaky, Barnes. Bar downstairs. Goodies. Where are the goodies? Oh, oh, shoot. I just hit something. Where are the goodies? Ooh. Definitely goodies. Oh. What? here don't get any ideas I'm not let me eat first mm. you got a death wish it sure seems like you're dead so Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, I can grab. What? Why am I standing on top of him? Took the we tower took together. the tower together. You faced the rotten teeth of death alone. From this um, burden, we are freed. Might be the that one guy. Infiltrate. The thing I will infiltrate. Oh, well, this way is not the way to go. Probably kill that guy up there. Oh, shoot. Get up here. Need to heal up real quick. They stay to the bottom floor. Get upstairs. Perfect. Perfect. That's cool. There we go. People of New Orleans, I come to you tonight with a tale of woe, a premonition. Take it. We've got an issue up. 
Okay. Generator with the gusting semi truck. Okay. Something's up, keep looking. Go. Something's up. Aha. And the building's dead without that generator. Wait for the sable. Wait for Sable to contact you over the walkie-talkie when she's cleared. Uh. Gotta get out of here. You around, tourist? We're here. Oh, okay. Beef us when you're ready to meet. Where do we need to meet? Report back to Sibyl and deliver the news about the radios. Okay. Uh, how do I get back? There we go. It's not. Can't use that. Got 
gotta get back to the skiff. Get to the skiff. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I just that's a Yeah, I got a meat. Goodness. Report to say I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I am going to go to sleep. Then I am going to go report. Wrong place. Wrong place. Day two, early morning. Uh, day two, day 29, including the first chapter, but... All right, I gotta go. Coming at you on all channels, people. The Pond King is open and the dealing can commence. Ah. I keep on grabbing that for some. I'm not gonna travel to Bywater. I'm gonna go report back first. There we go. You're back. I I'm guess I am. Radio. Nothing but a bunch of dead air. What happened? You were wrong about Mama's plan. Yeah. Turns out the tower doesn't give a sh about commanding the airwaves. They were there for a generator. Loaded it up and got away before I could stop them. A generator? Why would they want that? We we got all the power we need at the compound. It's true. The tower doesn't use a ton of what electricity. The what heck is wrong with your neck? Solar. Generators eat up fuel, which is like very limited. So, what the hell's going on here? Um, let's see. Looks like some plotting and scheming to me. Mama, always one step ahead. Damn, I was really looking forward to people hearing JB raging again. We gotta find a way to get it on air. Don't worry, it'll get out there. We can't let this derail our plan. So, you got anything else to report, tourist? Found a cool map. It's got some scribbles on it. Hmm. Can't be that cool. Let me see it. The heck? Everyone's so I recognize the patrol faces are new, so better. Looks like it lays out some exile locations in different parts of the city. Maybe they're encampments, fortifications. Mama's not going to tolerate a priest organizing a bunch of exiles. She's coming. Okay. And they got to get ready. Thank you, tourist. This is useful. 
We'll be in touch again when we figure out our next move. In the meantime, okay. keep yourself safe. Safe. Every day is a hell ride. Yep. But I like it that way. I gotta travel to buy water. Hmm. Fun. I have to go to buy water. By water. Ah. ah. Sorry. It'll open. We've been staring at that door for hours, hoping you'd come through it. Damn good to see you. Hey. What's the matter? The priest put you in a bad mood? He can be a pushy son of a- Sounds familiar. Can it, Dez? What did Father Carter have to say? Um... He's in. He did have a few oh, stipulations. you're missing an arm. He gave me a letter to give to you. That son of a- All right, put it in the drawer. Man of God, my ass. He's a wolf, this guy. Shifty. Yeah. But it. he can have it his way. With the preacher bringing his exiles to the table, we will have people in every corner of this city. There's a whole lot of demand out there, tourists. And everybody in Nola's going right. to know that the Pond King always delivers. It doesn't sound as cool as you think. Keep quiet, Dez. I'm doing business with the tourists. You'll get your cut once the goods start flowing through here from our exile friends. With everybody still dazed from the shitstorm in Old Town and the reserve fiasco, this trade network is the perfect plan at the perfect time. Supplies okay. have never been harder to come by. Mm. Okay, uh... Yeah, I wasn't focusing. No. Supplies are harder to come by. Everybody's um? got Old Town on the brain. Yeah, well, it was a up situation some lunatic has figured out how to keep the bells ringing for days what's the point of that slaughtering a bunch of innocent people then making it nearly impossible to ever set foot in that stretch of nola ever again chaos like that ain't just bad for business it's bad for living hope mama gets a hold of that fucker, gives them what they deserve i heard it was some tower guy who went rogue yeah yeah but you know what they say pumpkin Truth Man, travels that's slowly. a lot of the rumors have wings. You're like the only one alive who says stuff like that. Cut, Dez. I mean it. Why the supply shortage? Got to think the reserve had something to do with it. Everybody had it in their heads that there was this buried treasure out there, and they all broke their necks trying to find it. Then poof, it evaporates into thin air, and all those folks who were depending on it got to find another way to feed themselves. Now, some people might see that as a crisis. I see it as an opportunity. Another sign that we're all f You need to shift your attitude, kid. And my arm is long. Just make sure my cut is substantial, Sonny. Yes. Then we won't have a problem. I'll tell you what I tell all my associates. I haven't operated this fine establishment for 28 years, through a f***ing apocalypse even, by breaking my promises. You've got my word, and my word is good as solid gold. It's true. He does say that to everybody. That's enough, Dez. One thing you gotta know about the exiles, they're like catfish, night feeders. Yes. So you'll need to venture out after dark to do business with them. Work that UV flashlight to find where they've set up shop. It's a whole different ball game at night. But the exiles say it's the <laughs> best time to scavenge. Less competition, lots more loot. 
What is wrong with your neck? Thanks for because the tip, tip. Pawn King. You know I got your back, tourist. Listen, while you're here, I got a favor to ask you. It would help the trade network out a whole lot. Our old friend Henri, he had stuff hidden all over this town. He was like a f***ing squirrel. Couple of nuts here, couple of nuts there. Most of it, I could care less. But he and I were in the middle of a deal for one of those stashes, and then he got himself dead. I happen to know where uh. he hid it. You can keep whatever else you find. But the batteries, those belong to me. That's Sounds simple enough. enough. Where do I need to go? The spot ain't too far from here. An old recording studio in the French Quarter. Lots of fine memories. Henri and I used to do session gigs there. Him on slide, me on bass. We even played with Slim Dog Fortune once, if you can believe that. Recording studio, French Quarter. Anything else I need to know? Yeah, how to get into the place. The cat who owned the recording studio was a lunatic, Martinique the Martian Drisco. He was a bit on the paranoid side, thinking everyone was out to steal from him. Didn't trust okay. us musician types as far as he could throw us out the front door. He was always switching the door code, sometimes every other day. Doesn't sound paranoid to me. Probably had good reason. He sure did. Let's just put it this way. The man had secrets he needed to keep. The Martian was something of a ladies' man. Had a dalliance with a different lady every week. So he set himself oh. up with a private suite at the Hotel Eclair. Hi. Every time he changed the door code to the studio, he'd leave it there for whoever he had coming around. You find room 212, you find the code. Room 212. Oh. Got it. One last thing. We're not going to be keeping regular business hours from here on out. Security reasons. I'm sure you get it. We'll shout out on the radio when the doors are open, so stay tuned in. Good luck to you, tourists. All right. I uh, have to travel to Hotel in Clay. Is there anything I can trade, like medicine? No. Well. Back. Oh, it's two. Two of them. I'll kill him. Perfect. Yeah, with that being said, guys. Oh, hold up. I gotta take out this one. Walker. Okay, with that being said, guys, if you have enjoyed part two, hit the like, subscribe uh, button. We'll see you in part three of The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, uh, Retribution playthrough. Almost said Aftershocks there. Um, we'll see you when we go to Hotel in Clear, in Clear, at the dark, in the dark. So, stay tuned.